In this video, we'll illustrate how to use X-ray powder diffraction to distinguish between two polymorphs of the same molecule, in this case acetaminophen, form A and form B. An X-ray diffractometer has an X-ray source and a detector shown here by the curved red line. During crystallization, the molecules of the growing particles can arrange themselves in different ways, called crystal forms, or polymorphs. When the X-ray beam impinges on the crystalline sample, the X-rays are diffracted, producing peaks at particular angles. The two forms yield different X-ray powder diffraction patterns, shown here in brown and blue. These patterns are the direct result of the different crystalline structures of acetaminophen polymorphs. Notice that the patterns are different, even though both samples contain acetaminophen. Powder patterns can be compared to fingerprints. The pattern of one polymorph is different from another. If two powder diffraction patterns are compared and do not match, then the samples are different crystalline forms. However, if the locations of the peaks in two patterns match, then the samples represent the same crystalline form, just like a matched fingerprint. X-ray powder diffraction is perhaps the best method for distinguishing between polymorphs of a crystalline compound.